ladies and gentlemen, I'm back from my trip. However, I've also just walked into a plethora of messages telling me that there is something going on at my base in the Mindful server. I'll be the first to admit, I asked for this. People want to prank me. I don't know why. I am such an innocent person. I am the least deserving person of a prank on this server. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's a giant Canadian. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I haven't been on the server yet. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, do I have my light? Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go up here. Oh my goodness, it's a moose made of dirt. <sighs> yes, this is a sign. And this is too. What is this? Welcome back! We hope you enjoyed your trip to Germany, and we thought we should bring a little of Canada to your base to make sure you don't feel homesick. From your lovely pals, Lautner, Random, Hungry, Swirl, and Justin. What is all of this? Is this just a bunch of random... Okay, I bet you it's a bunch of junk stuff. Let's see how my... my base... F fended. Oh no. No! No, they changed all the wheat. Oh, it's a kawaii. It's a schoolgirl hungry. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know why my initial reaction was to go underneath here. <laughs> oh my goodness, hungry. That is awesome. That is such a really, that's such a cool build. That might even just stay there. That's a great spot for a statue. But I think they went ahead and turned all of my wheat into beetroots. Oh, they've also had, they've gone around and put a berry bushes. If you guys don't know this, I despise berry bushes. Like with an undying passion. If they went around my village and put berry bushes everywhere, that is a whole other level of evil right there. I think they turned my wheat field into a beetroot field. Or a beet field. <laughs> Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is like a coffee store that we have here in Canada. I want to see what this is. They've gone in and they put berry bushes at my building. Oh, no, no. No. Oh, my. This is all of the. These are all the seeds that they, they turned into beetroots. Oh, my goodness. That is pure evil. Wow. Oh, this says something. Hold on. Let me go see what it says from this guy. What does this say? Love from Hungry. D. Lautner. Lautner. <laughs> Quite literally, everything is turned into beetroots. Even these plants up here, which are like my private crops for me only. See here. You know what? Let's let, let's take a quick reference look. This is what a Canadian flag looks like. Let's see. Does it look like anything like what we've got? Uh, I see the resemblance. Kind of. I'd say that one's a little bit more detailed than this one. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. All right. Let's see if we can make our way inside here. Oh. Is it just a solid dirt block? I think what they did is they took all the dirt from the chests down below, which is what I was going to use to cover this mountain range, which is something I was working on behind the scenes, and they used it for a dirt block. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, all my dirt is gone. All of it. But that Canadian flag, like, that is awesome. That is brilliant. Let's just psh, smack right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I figured it was time to get out the old rusty guitar and sing another song. I invite you to sit back, relax, and reminisce as we try to rationalize why I shouldn't have been pranked. It hurts me to my core that this wheat field is no more. I'm Named Gamer, 2019. That's right, you just heard me quote myself. ever did was in song swirl but who's really
counting, I wonder. Swirl probably. Because now that I think about it, Swirl did have that hit list on me. Maybe that's why I got pranked. Master Swirl wasn't alone in this endeavor. He enlisted a number of people to help him. Wadner, random obsessor, Justin, and Hungry. You were all good in my books up till now. But now that that's all changed, the tables have turned, and they aren't in your favor. <laughs> you better sleep with one eye open. Oh, what the heck was that? Oh my goodness. I mean, I certainly hope I didn't leave any lasting damage. The only lasting damage inflicted was on my beat field. And my ego. It's been wicked. It's been wild. But you know what? At the end of the day, it beats being a beach. Well, guys, I'm going to get to cleaning up our village here, taking off the boards of the from the windows, and then getting rid of these fences, which did practically nothing. Thank you, fences. I put all of my cobwebs into these things, and uh, you guys did nothing. All right, everybody. Well, that is going to wrap it up for the episode here today. Thank you so much, so, so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate you. And... Uh, we have some more mindful episodes coming in the future very, very soon. I just got home, so I need to settle in for a little bit, and then we'll be back to your regularly scheduled mindful content. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time.